Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Susan Land. I'm a psychic and a medium. Thanks so much for joining me today for this political update. So today we're talking about Jenny Thomas. And let's just assume that everything I'm going to say from here on out is prefaced with for entertainment purposes only and allegedly. Now let's get started. Uh, the guides have been chattering at me about Jenny Thomas um, all day, but that that's normal for them to chatter at me. But what's interesting is they're connecting the dots to something that we talked about. We mean me and them, because you know, we're that kind of, we're close, you know, uh, something we talked about in a previous video. Do you guys recall a few videos back? where I went into Jenny's energy and she was, and I, hey, look at me calling her Jenny, like Jenny and I are on first name basis. Anyway, I'm still not sending you a care package in prison. You can forget about it. Okay. So a few videos back, I went into Jenny's energy and remember I was seeing her wanting to get legal advice and she wouldn't get an attorney. So then, you know, Susan, the human part of this partnership was like, oh, she's so cheap. She won't hire an attorney. I mean, what is that about? And then remember they're telling me, so they're reminding me about all this because I don't remember my channelings, my videos. Remember they mentioned the daughters of the Republic or something and that she was going through some private group, whether it is them or a DAR, that's what they're saying. Um, some group, you know, you know, all these you know, you know what I'm saying? These certain kind of white women have their groups that they join. I'm not going to malign any of the other ones, but I have a few in mind. Uh, but anyway, so she's over here calling her besties, you know, going, hey, uh, you're an attorney. Can I run something by you? And I thought it was so weird because I thought, why isn't this woman hiring her own attorney? I mean, seems pretty cut and dry. Like I'm sure she could get any number of attorneys would be happy to work with her. Right. So then, because I'm, you know, I'm reading this in real time and you can imagine that to be like, I'm walking down a, a sidewalk with my head down and I'm not paying attention because basically 60% of what's happening is not me. Right. I'm, I feel like Susan sometimes is the referee, <laughs> but and then I get to the destination and I'm surprised because I'm not looking ahead. I'm sort of being led. So that's what happened in this video. You can see my complete and total surprise at what I found out that the guides were leading me to know, which is, which is that she needed to get an attorney off the record. She, she could not did not want to, and it wouldn't be in her best interest to get an attorney uh, that she paid for. Now, I couldn't understand that, right? So the guides took me down the garden path and showed me the vista, uh, the scene, which is something along the lines, I'm not an attorney, but something along the lines of if she hired an attorney and she said, yeah, I got this situation that I need some representation for. And it happened, let's say January 6, 20, you know, and maybe there's a few other things in there too, but you know, I, I'm going to need representation. Okay. Well, that's all fine and good. Those crimes are in the past. You committed those crimes. You can confess that to your attorney and your attorney has a attorney client privilege. Okay. No problem. Now, this has also happened to Trump as well. If you hire your attorney and you say, I need representation for Jan 6, and they say, great, let's sign a contract, let's do this, I'm going to help you, and then you continue to crime and your attorney knows about it, well, now your attorney is an accomplice and your attorney the, the the defense, the prosecution can pierce that attorney client privilege, thereby making your attorney no longer privileged to you. The attorney now has to become a defendant and possibly even testify against you, right? So back to Jenny Tom, and this is happening right now with Trump. Yesterday he was indicted by you know, 
the man, Jack Smith. And the guides already told you this was going to happen. As a matter of fact, I'm not even talking about that because once they've already decided the energy is done, there's no talking about it. It's it's done. It's complete. In my spirit guides, frame of reference, Trump is a gone, done, toast, you know. So they don't even want to talk about it. But they do want to talk about Jenny. Okay, so Jenny... Now, why wouldn't Jenny hire the attorney? Well, because she's still criming allegedly. Because if she brings this attorney on and she's still doing something, then all of a sudden, well, they're kind of partners in crime to a degree, aren't they? Right? So she so so it was a huge revelation to me that she didn't want to hire an attorney right now. And allegedly, this is why. Now, that to me was a big deal. I mean, we've all heard that she maybe paid for the buses to go to Jan 6, but to be honest with you, there's no hard evidence for that. She's been wily. She's been slippery. She's a very brilliant person in her own right, and she knows how to cover her own tracks. This is, again, a wily individual. So she's not going to be easy to nail down except for, man, Jack Smith. Jack Smith is going to nail her to the wall. Seriously. Oh my God, he's investigating her. She is on the hook. There's no way she's going to get off of this. And the thing that's fascinating too, is when I was reading the energy, say, you know, uh, Jack Smith came on board around December of last year, I believe. Look what he's done. Look what he's done in eight months. Come on, this is this is a record speed kind of thing. And, and I believe that Trump is going to get, um, not indicted, but he's going to go to court way before May of next year, which is way before the election, okay? So he's really moving at some kind of speed. Now, the other thing that was fascinating to me was when I first started reading Jack's energy and I was reading the... Um, the energy around what he was going to do, who he was going to charge, how he was going to go about it. And not only that, but what what stomach did Garland, what stomach did Biden administration have for dealing with this, right? If you go back a few months, if you go back to January, February, you'll see me talking about this because there was really two camps. And I did a post about this just yesterday. There were really two camps. One camp said, We need to just knock this man out, right? Like we need to go for the jugular. We need to be swift. We need to take him out of commission. We need to lock him up, lock him away and just deal with the fallout. It's akin to pulling a Band-Aid off in one fell swoop. Let's just get it over with. It's going to be painful. It's going to be agony, but we can do it and get over with it. And we can move on. The country can heal and move on. The other camp is no. We need to go about this more deliberately, uh, perhaps more cautiously. We need to charge him with lesser charges and then more charges and then bring in others and charge them. We need to build this case like we're building, um, you know, a huge Uh, or a house of cards on a table. We need to build the foundation. We need to be very sure about this. We need to, we need to make sure there's no going back, that there's no way this guy can wiggle out of this. And if it takes an additional, you know, six or eight months or even a year, we need to do it. The other way they described it is in a, is in a boxing ring and, you know, just body punch after body punch versus a knockout, right? The body punches kind of agony for the for the person getting them, right? I mean, you know, maybe somebody somebody should call this fight, but no one's calling it. And and Trump is just going to get beat uh, in the body. He's just going to get blow after blow after blow. Uh, just today, um, Tish James is announcing or pre-announcing that she's going to be going after Trump and family for civil 
uh, charges against uh, for fraud. So now we have more charges coming in. We still have Fonnie Willis. We, I still think Michigan, the state of Michigan is going to go after Trump, even potentially before Fonnie Willis. So now the energy that I read was that they would do they would do their due diligence and then stop. I didn't see them going all the way to Russia. I didn't see them going all the way to the Supreme Court. I thought they're going to take Trump out. They're going to take out maybe three or four senators or House members, and they're going to call it done, right? That That's going to be good enough, right? That's all America can handle right now. Well, as you know, I mentioned this in a video recently, Jack Smith is going all the way to Russia. I mean, the man is buying a ticket to Russia. He's going to follow this money wherever it may lead. So if it starts with a senator or a congressperson, he's going to follow that money all the way to the Kremlin. I did not see Jack Smith being allowed to go that far. I really felt like Garland was going to hem him in or corral him. And obviously, Biden has had a change of heart too. Biden, I think, now feels like this is too much. The 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 rot in our political system, the rot in our Senate, our House, our judicial, even in the Secret Service and the FBI, the CIA, um, our military, parts of our military, is too much. And 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 we need to just go ahead and take it all out. This is new. Remember the guides for you viewers that have been with me for a while, the guides kept saying about six months ago, the cure should not kill the patient. They just kept saying that, right? The cure should not kill the patient. Well, here we are. And they've decided that, well, we're not going to kill the patient, but we're going to get all this out. I mean, I am blown away that they're going after Jenny Thomas. Jenny Thomas is untouchable. She is part of the untouchables, right? Well, apparently not with Jack Smith. No one is untouchable with Jack Smith. And you see Garland giving him the green light because Jack would only go so far that Garland would let him. So Garland has given him the green light. Biden has given him the green light. Everybody's given him the green light. Go forth and root it out, Jack. Root out the rot. I hear, I see commanders, generals. Um, I have chills. Um, all of these people saying we are standing down, meaning step ahead of us. You lead the way, Jack. Step ahead of us. If you find something in our military, we're going to back you up. If you find something in the FBI, we're going to back you up. If you find something in the Supreme Court, we're going to back you up. This is incredible. This is incredible new energy. It's it's an it, it's new in the sense that it's been bubbling up for the last couple of months, but now it seems to have seems to have really knitted together to create um, a real sense of mission. There's a sense of single-handed mission. I am on a mission and I'm not going to stop. And I, again, the sense is no one is too big to be taken down. I am Jack Smith. I put presidents in jail in The Hague. No one is too big. I will go after anyone who's broken the law. That is what's going on here. I don't know. To me, this is breaking news, <laughs> maybe because it's just breaking in my world, right? But so is this going to happen today? No, this isn't going to happen today. This, the way I see Jack doing this is he's going to take Trump down. I mean, and basically he is single-handedly very focused on Trump. Now, again, we talked about this in the past that uh, there seems to be some kind of 5D chess where um, Jack Smith is saying, okay, I'm going to take the lead, which the guides told you, if you're a longtime viewer, you remember there's Trump standing in front of us and in front of Trump with their backs to me, Fonnie Willis, Tish James, Alvin Bragg, E. Jean Carroll, Jack Smith, they're all lined up. They all want a piece of him. Remember the hundred arrows. If you guys have been watching a long time, they've been talking about this a long time. Well, 
remember, Jack Smith reaches over everybody and says, nope, he's mine. Federal charges trump state charges. Here we are. Jack Smith has done that. He's jumped ahead of Fonnie Willis. He's jumped ahead of everybody. But here's where it gets interesting. Two things that I want to tell you is that for some reason, Michigan feels very strong to me. I wouldn't be surprised if Michigan didn't go next I mean, who might be next is really uh, Tish James. She might be next, but that's a civil case. It's going to hit him in the pocketbook, but it's a civil case. And then who might go next criminally? Michigan just keeps feeling ripe. Like again, and I've talked about this before, right? Where Jack Smith was thinking, let's just keep these people off, off their, uh, feet a bit. We'll indict him in Florida. We'll indict him in DC. Then let's have Michigan indict him. And then let's have, you know, Georgia indict him. And then when you have indictments coming from all of these different places, what that does is those, you know, M-I-L-I-T-I-A-S's can't focus on one place and then get you know, centered, get personnel, get supplies. It keeps them from having a target. They, you know what I mean? It's, it's very nimble. It's, it's a very smart uh, way to do this. Now, today is the second and this morning or no, uh, actually around lunchtime today, there was a, a call of a BOMB scare in the, in the Capitol. They had to evacuate the Capitol. So, you know, on par, completely on par for Trump and the MAGAs to do something like that, right? But the difference is there wasn't, you know, five van loads of these boys showing up, right? So I do believe that Jack Smith is is trying to keep the heat coming from all different directions, okay? So That's what I see happening as far as like that. Now, the next thing I want to tell you, because this is interesting, this the guides just gave me this information today. And that is Trump is a goner, right? I can't even get them to talk about Trump. It's like he's gone. Why do you want to ask about him? Right. I'm like, because he's not gone, because he's still running free. He still has a cell phone. But, you know, um, the guides are much further ahead in the future than we are. I think they're at least usually they're several months ahead of me or ahead of the timeline that I'm talking to you about. And sometimes they're even a year ahead. So if uh, Trump gets goes to trial in November and gets indicted, you know, happy holidays, December or happy new year, January, I'm going to be thrilled. That's fine by me. Um, But let me tell you the thing they told me today, which is the way Jack is doing this is so fascinating. He's he's going to take Trump down. And then and then I what I understand is that he's going to take down, you know, the the uh, Congress people and the senators that sort of there will be a few more people in between that. But the Congress people and the senators, if you if you watch me, you know, that's what I need to happen That is what I need to happen. When that happens, I know that everything on the timeline that they've told me was going to happen is going to happen. I mean, I know everything has already happened that they said, but, you know, I mean, we got to use our discernment and we got to be, you know, I don't know. (laughs) I don't know. I'm just saying I'll be happy when those Congress people and senators get taken down. It really trips a lot of levers that's going to give us more control And it's going to really help Americans see there's justice, right? But here's the thing, the new thing. The new thing is, is that I see Jack staying on the job for perhaps even two more years because this guy is going to, once he starts getting the, you know, the big players out of the way, gets them all buttoned up, gets them tucked away in their jail beds, you know, with their jail issue clothes. They're all scratchy and their bad pillow and the bad BO with their, you know, with their cellmate uh, or the terrible diarrhea from that prison, you know, food. Anyway, he's going to go after, he's going to just keep like the energizer Jack Bunny, he's going to go after and after and after. He's going to go after everybody. 
he may go after Fox News people uh, because this is conspiracy. The charge is conspiracy. And I will put on the screen or I'll read it to you. So here's a here's a summary. Here's a summary of uh, conspiracy. It's a very quick summary. I'm going to put some things on the screen at the end of this video. You can take them and read them at your at your leisure. This I don't know if this woman is a lawyer, but I did see lawyers comment comment that this was very succinct and well worded. So the summary would be: um, they don't need to succeed to be found guilty of a conspiracy. You don't even need to succeed in the conspiracy. No writing. You don't have to have anything in writ in written. You don't have to have written anything. You don't have to have texted anything or emailed anything. Um, many goals, but you agree on one. So everybody has to agree on at least one of the goals. What is the goal? Well, to find Trump 11,000 more votes or to get Pence to take these fake electors. Um, so what's another one? Use many means so they can use any means possible. And any of those means can be part of the conspiracy. You know, potentially if I drove you to a spot where you're doing a meeting and we talked about the conspiracy and the goal, then all of a sudden I'm in the conspiracy, even though all I did was drive. I had the conversation where I admitted the goal. I admitted, yes, this is our goal. I'm in it. I'm in it all up to my neck. Uh, don't have to know anything. If you join, you're on the hook for all sorts of, of the things. So you don't have to know that Trump was planning to do all these things. All you have to know is that the goal was to get Trump back in office. So is, does Fox News fit in there somewhere? Does Tucker Carlson fit in there somewhere? Does Jenny Thomas fit in there somewhere? Because I think so. And you can use the statements of one versus the other. So if, if I said, yeah, the goal is to get Trump back in office. Now, that's a very innocuous thing, right? My goal is to help Trump get back in office. But yet the person I dropped off wants to promote violence even though I said I wasn't promoting violence, I, I was a state of, of the goal. You see what I'm saying? It's a net. The guides kept talking about traps and nets. This is a trap. This is a net. It's going to, it's going to, the nets catch fish that they don't even mean to, to catch. You know what I mean? These people are going down. This conspiracy law is incredible. It's going to catch so many people that had no idea that what they said or did was at all connected to a crime. They have no idea. They're like sitting ducks for Jack Smith to pick off. And, and sadly, and I, and I, I said, sadly, but the guide started talking to me like, well, this is, by design, right? I mean, this is by design. Um, I, I was going to say, Susan was going to say, sadly, these MAGA people keep hiring attorneys who simply don't know the law, right? Like, why are they hiring these big dummy attorneys who keep saying, you can't take Trump to court because he has free speech, you know, or all these things that are so clearly, even me, a novice, not a, a lay person could understand that what Trump did was bigger than free speech, right? But you have his own attorney saying the DOJ has nothing because Trump was just simply having his free speech. What's the same thing with this conspiracy stuff? Their attorneys are advising them that they're fine, that they don't fit into the conspiracy net that's coming to get them. And the guides just told me it's by design because this is incredibly sad, even more sad, because if you keep that person, Joe Blow fake elector, or who even knows, a producer at Fox News, who knows who what this net will get? If you keep that person in the dark and continue to tell them, this doesn't affect you. You're a producer at Fox News. You're a blah, blah, blah. I mean, you 
nowhere near Trump. You don't, you never talked to him on the phone. You've never emailed him. You've never texted him. You're six degrees separation from him. They're telling these people this because it keeps them from turning state's witness against Trump. That's why he pays for their attorneys. The attorneys are babysitters. They're not actually representing them. They're babysitting them, feeding them a bunch of bad advice so that they won't realize how much legal danger they're in and flip on Trump. I mean, it's mind blowing to me. So having said that, the last thing I'll say is that I think it's Jack Smith. I think it's the DOJ is looking into the fact that Trump's whatever PAC has paid for, I think, up to six attorneys now uh, that people are being investigated because of Trump's crimes. And they're saying, yeah, this doesn't look like it's in the defendant's best interest. We don't think this is in the defendant's best interest. We think this is in Trump's best interest, right? So there's already some pressure uh, on going to the judge to say, hey, this, this isn't really working, right? I mean, you really think all these defendants from these different cases should be paid for by Trump? Uh, are they really getting their best interests served here? And, and then the guides would say, this is how Fonnie Willis flipped something like six of those fake electors. And do you recall, because I did a video on this, the guides are reminding me, that she went to the judge and said, well, I have evidence that I've offered, me, Fonnie Willis, I've offered a plea deal to these fake electors, but I have evidence that they never received it, that their attorney never gave them the option to do a plea deal. Therefore, their attorney is not operating in their best interest and should be removed from their case. And this attorney, you guys, was not, you know, some street corner attorney. This was an attorney who was a legal, a law professor. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's what happens when you have um, when you have natural light going on. But I'm about to end this video anyway. So Fani was able to flip those six fake electors. OK. This is going to happen. These people are going to get flipped. They're going to get the memo. They're going to figure out, oh my God, this is wrong. This, I'm I'm being used by Trump. We're talking Walt Nata. I think he's going to flip before the end. At the very end of the very last chance that he can flip, he's going to flip. I'm, I feel like the writing is on the wall. Trump doesn't have the money to support these people. When they go to jail and they get out of jail, Trump is going to be crossed over. And there isn't going to be any money for them, even though they've been promised, we're going to take care of you. Do a couple of years when you get out, we're going to take care of you. We're going to give you a new car, a house. We're going to, we're going to set you up, man. We're going to do this. This is all grift. This is all not going to happen, right? So these people are figuring this stuff out and they're going to start flipping on Trump. But the biggest news of this video is Jenny Thomas. Um, once they go after her, they're going to, she, she's going to make him resign. I've told you guys before, she's been trying to make him resign. She wants him to resign. Uh, if they could just get him off the bench, she feels like she'd be able to negotiate a better deal for herself. Also, Thomas is not aware of some of the things she's done. She has kept it from Thomas. He does not know everything she's done. So surprise, surprise, Clarence Thomas, right? Uh, your wife has sold you out the same way that you have sold out the American people. May justice ring true all over your butt. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go. Have a great day. Um, that's exciting news, right? It's all good, 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 exciting news. Justice, Lady Justice is running amok in America. Uh, and Jack Smith is her <laughs> is her jockey, and they are running through the United States, uh, basically taking criminals out. It's a good day to be an American, y'all. Take really good care. For entertainment purposes only. <laughs>